you kind of don't want to start a show which is celebrating its 20 years with something negative. I think, you know, the BBC are going to be obviously revealing all the evidence that's come out from their investigation. And that, I think, will probably be what they do. I can't imagine Claudia or Tess addressing the nation in that respect because it kind of implicates everybody if they do that. You know, it's very different from potentially when um, the Philip Schofield scandal happened and it had to be addressed in that respect. That was quite important and it felt like it needed to have that. But I think this way, we've seen it in the media, we've we've watched it on the news. I don't think they're gonna be revealing anything or, or saying anything on Saturday. I think it would be thus the show must go on. You know, it's like a soap opera. It really is, you know, the case, the fact of the matter is there's loads of actors coming in, coming going in, in shows like EastEnders or whatever. And the same thing is really with Strictly. You know, it's a conveyor belt, it's all about the glitz, the glamour and the glitter and the dancers and the celebrities. And although the dancers become stars off the back of it, it's really about the show. And that's the juggernaut that powers the whole thing. But these kind of shows obviously rely on budget and budgets have been now moved from uh, what maybe have been bigger stars and also bigger production because they've had to spend a lot of money on chaperones and actually putting a lot of duty of care behind the scenes on the show to make sure that everyone's happy, both watching it and also who are uh, contestants on the show. I think, you know, it's the 20th year. There's so much nostalgia that comes with this show. You remember, obviously everybody remembers Len, everybody remembers Bruno, everybody remembers Arlene, and obviously, you know, Bruce Forsyth. So I think it'll be a lot of going back to some of the fabulous moments that happened during the last 20 years and really reliving them rather than anything else that may remind people of what happened in the last year or so. I think, you know, there are quite a few people on the show who actually have had a dance background, which is actually really good. Because remember, this is Saturday Night TV. We want to see people actually performing really well. We love the joke or the comedy performer, but we also like to see great, beautiful dancing. So that I think we'll have that too. But I do think, you know, there'll be much, there'll be much more precaution there and caution uh, during the show. I think the chaperone thing is going to really be uh, a block to potentially some budding romances. I mean, if those romances kick in because it's, people actually do fall for each other, you know, chaperone won't stop that. But, you know, the intimacy and the chemistry that all the judges always talk about, you know, this is one of the biggest things about uh, Strictly is seeing a celebrity that we see on a soap opera dancing with a gorgeous performer and seeing what their chemistry is like. And that's what kind of get, ignites us. And that's why we want to see, you know, they have shows that they tour with called Burn the Floor. You know, it's all about passion. Um, and I don't think we'll see as much passion because obviously there's somebody there. There's cameras obviously on them, but also during the time when the cameras aren't around, there's going to be a chaperone. And I think that will change the dynamic uh, of course, and also it'll make people feel quite self-conscious, I'm sure, because, you know, performing, if you're not a performer, out of your comfort zone is quite a intimate thing, but also quite a personal thing. And I think with a the chaperone there, it might inhibit people quite a lot as well. I think all eyes are on, going to be on the dancers. All eyes are going to be on the pairing. I think it's going to be a very different environment. But, you know, if that environment allows the show to progress, if that environment allows the show to carry on for another 20 years, then that isn't a bad thing because it's a big ratings winner. It's massive with families. It's so popular with kids up and down the country. And also, you know what? It gauges a lot of people to actually get up and dance and do something physical when they normally don't do it. So that cannot be a bad thing for that show.